Betty, it's time for bed. Oh, Ma, it's only 11 o'clock. I mean, want to watch Scary Sleepover Nightmare 2. You can watch Scary Sleepover Nightmare 2 when you've watched Scary Sleepover Nightmare 1. When can we watch that? When you're at varsity. Good night now, Betty. <laughs> but, you know, Betty, I'm feeling a little tired anyway, so, okay. you know, maybe we should go to bed. Okay, I agree. Good night. Good night. Chucky's looks down there. Chucky's was so tired. Night Sue. Night Betty. See you in the morning. Thank you God for today. Thank you for all the fun that I've had with Betty. Thank you God for giving me a friend like Betty. Thank you for making me musical. And thank you God for giving me the chance to use... Sue! Sue! Who are you talking to? To God. Why? For everything that He has given me. All the good things that I have come from God. And so every night I say thank you to Him. Every night? Yes. God has made all of us special and He has special plans for us. Are you sure about that? Yes. You know what? Do you think your mom would mind if we watch another video? Because I have, um, I'm part of Kids at Mid Church and the leader there, um, the pastor there actually, Karen, um, leads us in a lesson every week. And this week we're starting a new one on thank you. I promise it's not very long. Do you want to watch it? Oh, yes, because I really want to know what you're talking yeah. about. Okay, so let me just open YouTube and okay. then. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Kids at Mid Church. My name is Karen, and I am the Kids at Mid Church pastor. Thank you for joining myself and Rachel today in our next Kids at Mid Church lesson. So I want to start by asking you, Rachel, okay. what are the magic words? The magic words? Magic words. Have you heard that before? Yes, I think it's, it's please and thank you. Well done. The magic words are please and thank you. Okay. Now I want to tell you something. Yeah. When I was little, mm -hmm. my mom, had a big thing about myself and my sister saying thank you. When people gave us a gift or they did something for us, she always made us say thank you. And not only say thank you, she made us write notes wow. that we would post to the people. Very cool. And I hated doing it, I, I must confess. It was like time consuming <laughs> and I thought, what a waste of my time. But as I've grown up, I realized how important Important that lesson that she taught us was because when we say thank you we stop for a minute and we appreciate what someone has given us or what they've done for us so it was a really good thing that mm. my mom did did your mom teach you the same thing yes she has and she's taught me very very well sure your mom is awesome well done your mom <laughs> You know what, Rachel? What? We, and when I say we, I don't mean just you and me. Okay. I mean all people. Yeah. We've gotten very good at saying please. Mm. Do you know why? Because we like, we really want things, you know, and then to be nice about it, we'll be like, please. Please, can I have some chips? Yeah. So, you're, please, so, you, so, so you use the word please quite easily. Yes, yes. But what happens when you get your chips? Hey. Seldom say thank you. You go off and you eat them. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's kind of like it is, hey? When we get what we've asked for, chips. Either we just look at it quickly and we think about the next thing we want, um, and then we don't say thank you. It's very, very sad. You know what's even more sad? What? It's because we've gotten out of the habit of saying thank you, we've forgotten. That we need to say thank you to God too. When we are so focused on getting the next thing, please, the next thing, we forget to appreciate what we actually have. So saying thank you makes us stop and think about our blessings and our stuff and what people have done for us. So you've guessed it, our next series is called Thank you. And the you is pe other people, but in our series, it's God. 
we are going to see how and why we need to say thank you to God every single day. And to help us to remember to say thank you, mm -hmm. we are going to learn an awesome song. And it's called Thankful. Ooh. And it's such a cool song, it's going to get into your head. But I'm going to show you the action so that you can sing with Rachel and myself. So it goes, I like to think about, I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love him. I just want to lift my hands in praise and I want to say I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want about to think about I want to remember <laughs> sorry I want to remember everything that the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be I want to be I want to be right let's go I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in prayer from 1 Chronicles 29 verse 13 and these it says um, now God we give you thanks and praise your glorious name so there's yeah. some actions to help right. us remember okay mm -hmm. so now God yeah we give you thanks and we praise your glorious name okay, okay. so that's our memory verse let's yes. do it together right. and then at the end we say the reference Got it. Right. Okay. so now God, God, we give you thanks and we praise your glorious name. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 13. Okay, right. So that's, we've done our theme song. We've done our memory verse. Now our series challenge. And this, guys, you can ask the people who've sent in their challenge. Mm. Mrs. Delivery arrives at their gate with a chocolate of their choice. Oh. Obeying all the COVID rules, yes, very important, but I promise you, it's worth the effort. Mm. So what the series challenge is for our thank you series is firstly, you need to learn the memory verse. Should we do it again quickly? Yes. Okay. So memory verse. Memory verse. Right. Now, God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. 
1 Chronicles 29 verse 13. Right, so that's the first thing. And the second thing right. is to write a list or to film yourself saying a list of 10 things. 10 things. 10 things you are thankful to God for in your life. Okay. okay. Now that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty easy. That's quite easy. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's not a lot of work, okay, for Mrs. No. Delivery to come to your house. Ooh, and get a chocolate. Are, are you going to do it? Choosing. Are you going to do it? Yes. I'm going to do it too. Because I also want the chocolate. Yes. Okay. Right. So, guys, on to today's lesson. It is thank you, thank God. Mm -hmm. And then Rachel just moves so the folk can see for making me. Oh, that sounds interesting. But you know what? Bibiosaurus was away on holiday for a little bit and wow. she's back. Ooh. She's back. So you know what that means? We have to sing. We have to sing. Yes. And in Devo and Vitali sang so well in our last series. Yeah. I think they can sing again. Yes. Uh, so in Devo and Vitali are gonna sing uh, our song to get Bibiosaurus awake mm -hmm. and ready for our lesson. Are you excited? Yes. Okay. Off you go, Indivo and Butali. <laughs>
But with God's direction, he became one of the most important people in the Old Testament. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. Yes, I told you. He became so important, he has a whole book of his own in the Bible. How cool is that? Let's take a listen to today's story. So there I was, just a young boy, minding my own business, when all of a sudden, I heard the voice of the Lord begin to speak to me. Jeremiah! Jeremiah! Yes, Lord? Before I formed you in your mother's body, I chose you. Before you were born, I set you apart to serve me. I chose you to be a prophet to the nations. The Lord wanted me to speak for him, to be his prophet. How could this be true? I was only a boy. I didn't know how to speak in front of people. Do not say I am only a boy and do not know how to speak, because everywhere I send you, you will go. And all that I command you to say, you will say. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you always. You won't believe what happened next. The Lord himself stretched out his hand and touched my mouth. He was giving me the power to speak the words he wanted me to speak. And now, Jeremiah, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have chosen you on this day over the nations and kingdoms of this world. What you build up will be built up. What you tear down will be torn down. Jeremiah came along at a time in history when God's chosen people, Israel, had forgotten about him. God had saved Israel from slavery. He had given them a land to call their own and protected them from all their enemies. Yet, the people rejected God and chose to worship false gods instead. I know. How weird are they? God had warned the people long ago that he would punish them if they ever forgot about him. God needed a person to remind Israel of that warning. Someone brave and bold who would share God's message without fear. God chose Jeremiah for that very reason. Jeremiah didn't believe he had it in him to be a prophet. But when the judgment for their sin came, it was Jeremiah who reminded the people why they were being punished and showed them the way they could repent of their sin. Just like Jeremiah, God has made each of us for a special purpose too. We need to thank God for the gifts he's given us and we need to use our gifts to show the world that God loves us and them. Isn't that amazing? God made you a one of a kind special. There's no one in the whole world like you. And what's even more amazing is that God made you to do something for him that no one else can do. Be sure that that is a big reason to say thank you to him. Bibliosaurus, it was great to see you again, and it's always so good to hear your Bible stories. We have learned so much from the story of Jeremiah. When we receive a gift, the first words we say after, wow, and this is just what I wanted, should always be thankful. As we discover the gifts God has given us, we need to thank him as well. When we discover a talent, we have for something like music or drama, we must thank God. When we discover a passion we have, something we enjoy doing that serves others, we must thank God as well. 
God loves to hear our prayers and he really loves it when we say thank you. But saying thank you isn't enough. If we say thank you for a gift and then we put it away in a cupboard, what use is that gift to us or anyone else? God wants us to show we are thankful by putting our gifts and talents to work for him. Those who can sing should sing for God. Those who can act must act for God. Those who have a heart for serving should serve. Those with a talent for leading others and teaching should do what God has made them to do. And those who have a gift of encouragement should always be on the lookout for someone who needs a pick-me-up. And do you know what is super cool about the gifts God has given you? You don't have to wait until you're a grown-up to use them. Remember when Jeremiah thought he was too young? God told him that his age didn't matter. God can use you even though you are still young. So don't put off using your gifts for God. God can use anyone, no matter their age, to show people that he loves them. Just as God used Jeremiah to warn the people and show them the way back to him, God can use you and me to invite our friends and others to meet Jesus in person. Let us give thanks to God every day in prayer for the things he has given us. And let us show him how thankful we are by putting those gifts to work so that others can come to know God as well. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you made me. Thank you for all the gifts and talents you have given me. Lord, I pray that you will stir my heart so that I use the gifts and the talents that you have given me to work for you and to tell others about you so that they will get to know you too. Thank you for this wonderful lesson. Help us to always remember to say thank you to you because you are so amazing. Amen. Bye guys. I'll see you next week and we'll continue on our journey of how to say thank you. Wow, Sue, that was awesome. No one's ever told me things like that. Do you think God made me special too? Absolutely, Betty. You're one of the best artists I know. That's a gift from God. I should say thank you to God too. Sure. Why not? But how do I do that? Okay, so let's just first say thank you God for making me me. Thank you God for making me me. Thank you for my art. Thank you for my art. And thank you for the plans you have for me. You really think God has plans for me? I'm sure he does, Betty. Can't wait to find out what those plans are. That makes two of us. Betty. Anyway.